Hey everybody, it is Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to a raid. As simple as that. It was brought up in one of my last Hardcore Iron Man videos that some of you wanted to see a complete raid from start to finish, and that is what I plan on doing here. The goal of this video is to go over a mid-level solo raid run and hopefully answer any questions that you might not get from a typical raids guide. Raids can be very complicated and you won't see every boss in one raid unless you do challenge mode, which is not what I'm doing today. Because of this, I'll be doing multiple of these videos. I think I would like to do five total, and I'm going to do each one on the first take rather than do a dozen raids and show the best one. That way you not only see what you're supposed to do in raids, but what you do when you mess up and, and how, to, how to learn. You know, you can't just be flawless out of the gate. I plan on making an overall raids guide in the long run, and that's one of the main things I want to teach in that video too. I don't want to show you a perfect raid from start to finish and just expect you to pick it up. I would rather show you the steps in learning how to get better, or at least good enough to grind out some items. Even though it's good to learn what you're supposed to do perfectly, that doesn't necessarily always mean you're just going to go out there and do it. Since I'll be doing multiple videos, it's a good idea to ask any questions you have about specific raids mechanics that'll happen in these videos. That way I can make a note of it in the next video if I didn't specifically make a note of it in this one, if that makes any sense. Either way, I can answer your questions that don't require a visual in the comments section too. So at any point, if you have questions, just timestamp where something happened. Let me know if uh, I may have just even messed up if you're wondering why I did something. But if there's something I worked on that you don't know about, I could easily explain why. Really quickly, I'll talk about scouting, which I won't be featuring that much in this series. The idea of scouting is to find a raid that you want to do with the right rooms, preferably one that's not too long and just has the right order of bosses and puzzle rooms that you want to do. The raid that you want to scout is not one specific perfect raid, it kind of depends on each player and their gear and what bosses they like to fight and whatnot. But uh, it's pretty easy to find a raid you want if you just keep going in and out and, and just trying to find the right one. It generally doesn't take longer than like five minutes. The thing is, if you don't have a friend or a second account to hold the raid for you, you kind of have to have a just a general raids inventory ready or you can't leave the prepared raid. That would mean you can't bank is the idea. If you do this by yourself and you don't have a second account, you won't be able to bank in between finding a good raid and starting that raid. As you can see in this one, the raid that I got is Tightrope, Mutadiles, Shamans, Mystics, Guardians, Ice Demons. A little bit of an easier setup. I also have not done raids in uh, maybe about a month, a month and a half. So I figured why not the first video be a little bit of an easier one because I will make some mistakes that I, I wouldn't have if I had done a few in a row. At this point, I don't know if I have anything else to say for the intro specifically. So I hope you enjoy the live raid. All right, I guess uh, let's see how this goes. It's been a while since I've done a raid. Uh, I've really just been doing Winter's Hot on this account for like a month. So this will be a nice change in pace. First of all, if you're wondering about my inventory, A, I know that I bring too many Staminas. I don't trust myself. Do I have my Entity higher on? I do. Cool. I do, but it wasn't hiding that thing. Did you see that? Anyways, um, tie Rope's the first room. I guess it's the only thing I gotta explain in my inventory mainly. Uh, I do bring strange inventory setups with my hardcore locks. I don't have all the perfect gear I'd like to have. And I didn't bring ranging potions. That's something I should explain too, eh? I try my best to set up my quick prayers to whatever I need and save some prayer when I can, but sometimes I get lazy about it. I'll definitely do it more just because I'm doing this video. I'm trying to make it look like I'm good at what I'm doing. As I didn't bring a ranging potion. I did skip over uh, a raid that had tightrope and crabs instead of tightrope and... Oh no, this one's demon. Yeah, the other one had tightrope and crabs. I thought there was a thieving room in here for some reason. I wanted to get a couple more bosses in for at least each raid on this kind of series that I'm doing. That way I don't have to do like five different raids to get each boss in. And now I'm gonna die. A uh, good idea is to, first of all, be ready for that quicker than I was. When you try to heal up against these guys, the shape of the room kind of depends on where the safe spot's going to be. But, like, that guy's truly, clearly trying to kill me right now. And the fact that I can safe spot while I heal up saves a little bit of damage. I'll admit I'm kind of chugging bruise on this one right now. Maybe it would help if I had a good potion. So I'm going to have uh, muted aisles before the farming room. And I won't have seeds until I fight shamans too. Once I get those seeds, I'll probably do the farming room upstairs though. 
It's kind of better to be able to do, first of all, no farming if you can just no prep a, uh, an ohm. But I'm not good enough at that. In fact, I haven't done this in a long enough time. I'm not even going to wait for the second room. But if you're kind of the, uh, I don't know how to say this. See, English is hard. This is why I usually don't do live videos, right? This is why people on stream have to, they have to deal with this, all right? Uh, kind of the process for learning, I guess. You'll start with a lot of raids where you have to uh, use the first farm room to make a lot of supplies. You preferably get to the point where you can get through all of the first bosses and to the last farming room before making supplies, and then eventually not have to make supplies ever. I will be doing the first one in this video, making supplies in the first farming room. Muted Isles. Uh, let's heal up a little more. It's also a common strategy to bring a bronze axe instead of, you know, a dragon axe. And then just drop it when you're done to save an envy space. I don't have a lot of bronze axes stacked up, so I don't plan on dropping them anyway. I figured why not bring the dragon axe, which is the same speed but looks cooler. Oh, I'm gonna get nibbled. Oh, that was crazy. So when you see him walking up to you, you're supposed to turn on protect for melee. I got lucky there that he still used a range attack. And I should be attacking between woodcutting XP drops. Yee, yeah, son of a bitch. And now he's gonna use a melee attack. Look at that. I'm just getting tricked here. This is why I'd be bad at PKing. They kept switching their gear back and forth. I'd never pray the right thing. And it's hard to tell we're even chopping anymore. It's so slow. Sometimes it's a pain in the ass because if you keep taking hits, you don't see the animation of your character chopping. So it looks like you've stopped cutting the tree. The only reason you would stop cutting the tree is if you drank a potion or you clicked on something. You won't just stop by yourself. It doesn't make any sense. Getting attacked won't stop you. But it does mess with me a lot though. Oh, the goal here is to sip up while running under him a little. The whole reason you stand close and protect from melee is to, uh, you protect 100% from melee and not 100% from range. So this kind of, oh, this makes your protection prayers a little more valuable. And the reason I run under him is to, to try to avoid what just happened, which is him walking away from me and using a range attack. I'll admit this part is a lot easier than it looks. The first time I saw somebody do this, it's like, that's ridiculous, and it's really not that difficult. I will not be sipping this. I believe oh, that this is going to hit me really hard. Nice. This should be a safe spot right here, right? I'm not that good with the exact safe spots in this room, but... I'm also going to have to go through shamans with basically one brew. I could use a Dragon Warhammer spec. I didn't feel too comfy about not taking a melee hit. I haven't done it in a while. Ooh, please don't keep walking towards me. He's coming in hot, man. I gotta be careful. Here it is! Oh, my run's not on. I forgot. He could definitely have KO'd me through that. I'm getting lucky here. This whole idea of this uh, one full raid is not just to show some perfect like 18 minute raid. I won't even get sub 30 in this. Using the wrong prayers and everything. Jesus, so I got five doses, well, four basically. Oh, and I gotta sip up an overload if I want a faster kill at the shamans. Shamans are avoidable damage if you're not an idiot, but um, I can't make any guarantees. Let's see how it goes. I can drop, oh, you know what I already dropped? Stamina potion that I never picked up. Fast forward. Ironically, this is part of the reason that I bring the extra stamina. Sometimes I mess up and I have to run around too much and I need extra doses. It's mostly if I mess up an ohm that I would need extra doses, but that was kind of ironic. Let's drop these quick. I'll be coming back here in the long run. For now, I'm going to set my quick prayers to what they're already at. I'm going to hope I don't mess this up. It almost would be better to not use the overload so I have the extra health for now, eh? 
I'm wondering. I'm gonna go for that, honestly. Fuck it. I don't have a ton of faith in myself right now with uh, not taking a couple poison hits. So the whole goal is to be able to reach these from the wall, which I think I just did fine. But I'm gonna get hit by that. Okay, my timing's real off though. So never mind. The other one don't see me. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, he jumped. At least he's in a good spot. Oh, and I, you know, this is why I didn't sip the overload right away. This is gonna go poorly. I needed that brew already. I'd be at two health. Let's get a good spec, please. You are not nearly close enough to the wall, are you? My timing's still off. Green attacks will hit me. There we go. It's still gonna be fucked, man. The whole idea is you're supposed to be running away right as it attacks. And then you can just attack like a normal blowpipe. Just attack, run, attack, run. And the green attacks will never hit you. I don't ever set that up right. I almost did it here, right? Yeah. But the other one. Oh, that's so sad. This is why you like to fight one at a time, too. I should title this video something about how fucking sketchy this whole raid's gonna be. Dak barely completes one full raid. Instead of just one full raid, which is the name I had right now. That's gonna kill me. Don't melee me. Don't melee me. Oh my god. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Alright, one's dead. What's the goal now, eh? Don't die on this one. I'm gonna run a little extra. Because I'm a little extra. Oh, it's almost dead. Just to make sure I don't get hit by one. I'm trying to get to this wall right now, though. And that might hit me. Woo! Did I cut it close? Nah, we're good. At this rate, I have a good chance of dying at the... The Ohm fight, if I can't even make it this far. I decided to just drop those Golpar and Nox for seeds because I already got an overload or two overloads from Muted Isles. It's kind of the nice part of this raid setup. I also don't even have high enough herb lore to make the overload pluses on this account, so I kind of rely on that. Oh, what I need to do though, this is going to be a pain in the ass. I'll plant the seeds first, drop some stuff off here. I still need secondaries. There's a scavenger room after. Yeah, there's a scavenger room after the uh, shaman room I just did. So I don't have to go all the way back, which is kind of nice. And I just need some juice and shrooms. Oh, and planks. I'm not good enough to do this without a chest. I will do that. And the scavenger is downstairs. Get out of here. Kind of a long run. At this point, since I'm fast forwarding the... Uh, the crappy parts of it. It's not that much longer for you guys. Still kind of a long run. This should be scavengers. Yes, it is. That's almost enough right there. Minimum amount of shrooms, unfortunately. I'd like one more shroom drop. Oh, and planks. I keep forgetting the planks. I probably could survive with a small chest, which only requires two planks, but, um... I'm still waiting on shrooms, too. We'll see. I'll probably go for a medium chest. There are the shrooms. Totally forgot that these drop a lockpick now. You don't technically have to bring your own. I feel like it's still better to bring your own when you know there's a thieving room. Anyways, there's all the supplies I need. Way more juice than I'll ever use. Good amount of shrooms. Probably more than I'll use on that, too, to be fair. And then uh, enough planks for a chest. So now I'll get all my farming done. The farming life's pretty easy. I imagine I'm about to fast forward most of this, but I already planted my bukus. That's all I'm planning on growing because I'm only making brews and restores. And then these are the secondaries for brews and restores. So if you guys don't know how potion making works, I, I, I don't know how to help you. Alright, this should be plenty of potions to get through the rest of the raid. This is mostly for Ulm. I have a couple of things coming up that have some avoidable damage, as long as they don't blow it. And then Mystics. Mystics are not totally avoidable damage, but a couple of easy rooms coming up. What is going on? Please make the potions. And then Ulminator. I was downstairs too. I gotta bring everything, basically. So I'm grabbing melee gear for the Guardians. I'm already wearing my range gear. You might notice I don't have a salve amulet. Don't talk about it. 
And just gonna say that's good. Looks good to me. There's a chest right before uh, the ice demon, so I don't really have to set up for that. I've probably mentioned it already and probably will mention it again. If you have any questions about uh, specific things that I've already done, I am doing just little whatever that I don't bring up, be sure to leave those in the comments section. It's part of the reason that I'm doing multiple videos on this is to hopefully hit a lot of different topics when it comes to raids, but it takes a lot of raids to go over everything. So I'm just doing one full raid run. Even though I just did this like a perfect fucking 16 minute raid, you still would probably have questions, I imagine. Okay, first came Mystics. Alright, so these two are pretty close to each other. I could probably get this one safe spotted without this one attacking me, but I'm gonna show how to lure them quick, which is very easy. This is not very difficult at all, don't worry. Turn on your protect from magic because they'll both start trying to pound you. And when you walk up close to them, look, neither of them saw me. That was ridiculous. When you walk up close to it, when it's within like melee range, melee distance, it'll automatically try to start meleeing you. See, uh, come on, just do it. Don't make me look like a dick. Punch me in the face. You punch me in the face, right? So this one will now follow me till the end of time until I attack it again, I guess. I get my ass kicked by both of them now. They do hit hard with melee. And now, neither of them will attack me until I attack them again. So I can choose to just fight this purple one. And we're good. It's definitely better to, to fight them one at a time. Since they're so slow to kill. If you have multiple attacking you, pretty clearly you're just going to take a lot more damage than you need to take. A quick note when brinking, when brinking Ceridome and Drews, I almost just said. This is why I usually voice over everything I do. When you're drinking uh, Ceridomon Brews, or Xerix Aids as they're called in here, if you've overloaded, your overload re, uh, uh, reboosts your stats every 15 seconds, usually on the 15 second marks. So when this says 215, it's automatically going to bring me back up to 120 in each of my stats, which means that's the perfect time to sip a brew. Is that like 216? Because usually a brew drops your stats. So if I sip it right now, they dropped to 104. And then went right back up to 120 like a tick later. So it kind of helps with speed overall if your stats are constantly boosted when you're fighting. So if you can, it's not always easy. Sometimes you gotta chug. You never know. But um, ah oh shoot, I don't have my stamina potion here. This is gonna suck. Anyways, it's good to um, it's good to have good timing. I guess is what I'm saying when it comes to sipping your serotonin and brews or your Xerix aids. So uh, I don't know what to say about the stamina. I tried to think of some excuse while finishing that last note, but I got nothing. I messed up, didn't bring it. Hopefully I'll kill these fast enough, it won't matter too much. And if I do start walking on these, I'll just fast forward it again. And if you really hate the, the bits of fast forwarding, if they're too quick, if there were specific things you were trying to watch, I'll try to avoid that. I'll try to make sure that any method I'm doing here, you get some standard footage like this, but just let me know. Let me know. For future videos, I can definitely, uh, I can tweak the editing style on this. That was another note on the the comments on my hardcore about full raids videos was they don't even have to really be edited and i agree that for the most part i'm trying to just not edit this but there are certain things like when i was farming did you guys really was there anything i did there you needed to be slowed down i didn't say anything yet. i just sat there silently I don't... it's part of the reason you may have wanted me to do it on stream too rest in peace because at least i'd have been talking to chat but i also would have had to put um the chat on the screen so you can see what the hell I'm talking to, what I'm responding to, what I'm talking to. I just definitely just call on my viewers a what. Didn't run out of run energy there. Feels good. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna end this raid with like almost two full staminas. This is uncommon for me. So the ice demon does have the tinderbox and the axe spawn at the beginning of the room, as you saw me just grab. Usually I drop those two in front of the chest, go to the private storage and just deposit everything. Grab these again. Start chopping wood. <coughs> Excuse me. There is, <clears throat> there's an exact. Oh, I need my water. There's an exact uh, amount of logs that you need, depending on how many burners you use. That I don't know the number perfectly. I believe if you just chop like 24 and 24, and only use two burners, you're fine. I usually do two full envies. I'll get one full envy, drop it in front of a burner. Go get a. Oops. Go get another full inventory. Light a separate burner with it. 
Star lighting. Ah, I already messed this up. Just watch me do it when I get to it. So, <laughs> how many times am I going to have to say, this is why I don't usually do this live. All right, so we chopped one full inventory. Dropping it at this burner. Not very good at dropping. I usually try to fast forward these parts too, so it makes me look like I click really quickly. I will now go get another inventory, right? I will light two burners with it. That's where I messed up. So I'm doing three total. I got the one set up. I'm chopping an inventory for two of them. And then I'll grab my, uh, my gear afterward. Luckily, they updated this room, so with high wood cutting, you can get a lot of logs at once sometimes. Oh, I did this kind of backwards, too. I wanted to drop them at this, uh, this front one. But what I can do here is drop a few, light this burner. So this will be a little off timing-wise, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Maybe if I did, like, 50 raids in a row before doing this one, and I was back on track. I've never been super good at them, to be fair. Even the best raid I've ever done probably wasn't that flawless to watch. It's probably painful for anybody who's actually really good at these. So I assume this is still going to be fine enough to get him out of his prison. I'm going to grab uh, my hammer. I'm not even going to... Uh, I'm doing one hammer spec. I'm doing it. And then range gear. Going for a couple of potions. Shouldn't need that many. Still going to bring a couple. For backup. And then since I still have time, look, and one of the burners went out. Instead of just standing around, I decided to chop a few extra logs. Oh yeah, two burners went out. So I definitely did this just a little backwards overall. Which is part of the reason I always try to make sure I chop some extras after I grab my gear. I imagine that's fine, but again, I, it's either stand around and do nothing or chop the extra logs just in case. So let's just do this. This should be good. I'm going to use one spec. Whether or not it lands is up to RNG Jesus and will not change what I do here. Uh, I could have brought some fire spells to make this a slightly faster fight, but we're going range method on this one. Oops. One spec to rule the world. Nice, dude. It landed. Feels good, man. Squeaky hammer. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I mean, I could just mess around with it right now. If you... Step back. Will I be able to reach him from here? No, it's this is my the furthest square I can reach him from with the blowpipe. I just went silent because I'm trying to count some attacks, sorry. So if you make sure you stand far enough back, you can get a couple of attacks each spot, and this really doesn't take any run energy. A lot of times, uh, if you watch me while I do this when I stream, this is not the habit I get into, I get into excuse me. A lot of times I'll be standing close and I just do this. I'll attack twice on this square, once on this square. It's really not that difficult to do. Either way, the whole idea is just run from the snowballs. Like it's, It doesn't take too long to get used to. And it is pretty convenient to just stand back. So, Just make sure if you have your run energy on. So like if I click one... Ah, oh, I fucked up. I killed it. I made a mistake by killing it. If your run energy is on and you're too far away to attack something, you'll your character will run one square too far in towards... The monster. I don't know how to explain it without showing it, so I messed it up. If that was enough to explain it, you're welcome. If not, I am so sorry. I guess it's time to prep for Ohm. I'm gonna grab basically all my Ohm gear at the moment. I will be using another chest on the way there, but um, I use the run to like pot up and whatnot. See, I definitely have a full res or a full stamina left over. Like I said at the beginning, I very rarely use, look, five doses. I very rarely use all of them, but I also set myself up that I don't really need that extra MV space. That's not going to make a big difference until I start doing, like, no preps. But I'm not doing no preps. So it looks like I didn't bring enough potions with me, but that's these are just kind of pre sip potions. Uh, I am going to re-overload, even though I'm in the middle of one. Timing-wise, I appreciate if I've just overloaded as I get in there. I also should have grabbed here. I'm going to do it here. Should have done it before I ran by, but I want the one dose stamina that I put in here. I'm going to sip that now. Overload now. 
Prayer in hands now. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna touch the well. Heal up. Give me one restore sip. Let's go two restore sips. Replace most of these. What's my ratio usually like? I think four restores, even though I probably would need three. That's gonna be eight. Oh, it's not even gonna be a fully on this one. Hold on. And I don't have any extras right now, do I? There is a really good chance this doesn't go well. Because I haven't done this in a while. Usually I don't... Uh, usually it takes me a few ohms in a row to get back to no deaths at ohm. Also, I never checked charges. We're good on this bad boy. And we're good on this bad boy. Thank God. Alright, mage gear over here. Melee gear on. Looking good to me. Let's have at it. I'll probably ramble a lot or have a lot of uh, ideas that kind of float off before I finish them while fighting Ulm. Because this does take a good amount of my focus and... Yeah, see, I'm already tailing off. I don't know what to say. One spec to rule the world. Almost the Bodhi number. I will take it. Feels good, man. Let's go magic gear. Just an offensive prayer and have at it. Like I believe I mentioned in the intro, if you can't tell I'm recording this part before I recorded the intro that you heard. I'm not necessarily trying to do a, a full on guide with this, so I'm not really going to explain exactly how his head turns while I'm doing this. Um, I plan on making a guide in the long run too for raids, but that's kind of a different topic. But if you have any specific questions about, I don't know, where I'm standing in certain times, for one, there's a good chance I wasn't purposely standing there. Again, I'm not going to do this perfectly, but... I'm very willing to answer any questions I didn't answer during the video, just in the comments section below. And I don't want to say it, but so far, so good. And I don't plan on fast-forwarding any of this Ulm fight, even though there will be some... Oh, awkward silences. There we go. I missed an attack there because I fucked that up, but I'm alive. What happened on that last one is this attack, the one I'm about to do right here. If you hit, if you see that XP drop, you're guaranteed he looks all the way over. But if you don't hit, it's kind of a 50-50 thing. You're supposed to react. I guessed instead of reacting. Like right there, I just did it again. Oh, and it got me hit. Just wait a second instead of guessing. Kind of a bad habit I have. Sometimes I'll just get into the flow of it anyway. And you'll get a few hits in a row on this far spot right here. So you just get used to his head always turning all the way over. And then the one time you miss an attack, you just kind of forget it. It happens, it happens. Almost done. We are done. Sweet. As you can see, my switches are beyond slow. He came up with the power crystal, so this isn't very dangerous. I think I'm already into 4 to 1. Yeah, I only knew that because he didn't attack me there. It's kind of hard to say it before it happened. That's convenient. I probably should have known he was still on range. Or at least guessed. You never really know. <laughs> it's remotely random. might be late. It's not late. Sweet. Oh, that's gonna be late, though. Alright, I'm gonna run all the way across to help myself out. Just turn his head all the way. Oh, it didn't! Haha, <laughs> nerd. Alright, this might be a spec. No, that wasn't an attack. That means this is now gonna be a spec, and I gotta just tank it. Don't tell me! Nice. Risking it for the business. I know that's not the phrase, I say it wrong on purpose. If you don't watch me stream, it might be confusing. I say shit wrong, because, I don't know, I find it funny. I don't even laugh at it, but I find it funny, I guess. I can't be the only one that feels this way. There's definitely a level of funny where you don't laugh, but it's still funny. Like, I can listen to a joke and not react at all, but still find your joke funny, right? Is that, am I just weird? First phase went extraordinarily well for um, not having done this in a while. I'm trying to lock in to make it look like I'm fairly good at this. <laughs> Oh, and then I don't use the spec on that. Ah? 
You gotta fuck it up eventually, right? I'm just gonna use the one spec. Make sure I have two for the uh, final hand. I don't think that's usually suggested. But it's what I'm doing right now. Fuck it. The reason I wasn't attacking there was because my overload was going off and you can still attack during it. It fucks with your animations a little, but it it's just animations. It doesn't actually fuck with your mechanics, so you still... You can do everything fine, but because visually it's hard to see while you're drinking the overload, while your character is taking the 10s, I just run around to make sure I don't fuck any timing up. And not run... Oh, that was fucked up. I didn't go far enough. I don't run around, like, randomly. I still just go back and forth, but without attacking. Woo! Thought I messed that up, but I'm fine. Also, if you ever see me with the wrong gear switch, right now it looks like I'm doing fine, but I'm sorry, sometimes it takes me a while to realize. Especially during head phase, it'll happen. There'll be one piece of range gear, just hopefully not void. That I forget to switch. Hopefully not the backpack either. Alright, so I'm about to be at 30 seconds on that overload over here. So I'm sipping now. And my attack's late because I'm trying to talk my way through it. But that way, I'm still basically fully overloaded the whole time. I think with the ohm fight, that makes a bigger difference than anywhere else and that's mostly because you're in here for a long ass time but the amount of damage you do is very important so right here I'm doing it again it was just about to hit the 15 second mark I don't think I used a single attack that wasn't fully boosted kind of nice almost done get me out of here beautiful Oops. Came up with the power acid. I'm letting him attack twice. See how he didn't attack the second time? That means I'm already in 4 to 1 again. I'm a little tempted to fuck it up on purpose because I, I thought maybe I'd discuss a little bit. Like if you see something else, what you should do. But also, I can't do the acid walk where you still fight Ohm while taking acid damage. So he just has to spit acid on me and I'll run around and reset it anyway. So we'll see what happens. And we have another phase. And hopefully more videos in the series. I think four or five of these is what I'll end up doing. I probably said that in the intro already, but... Whatever. This is going really well, actually. And now he's going to use acid because I said something. Boop! He didn't! Feels good, man. If you're wondering about when I'm turning on my prayers, too, that comes down to a little more knowing specific 4 to 1 mechanics that I will explain really poorly while trying to do it. But like, if you know when he's going to attack you, it's actually pretty safe to turn your prayers off. Like, right now, I know he won't hit me. Oh, now I'm too early. Still won't hit me. Now he will. Damn it, I'm such a cocky bitch. But uh, being able to know when he's going to attack you and when he doesn't is actually mostly helpful for prayer. You can turn some prayer off. So I'm out of the 4-1 to one right now. Here's what's going to happen. I'm going to let... Well, uh, I know where he is. I don't want to risk this. I was going to say I'm going to let him attack me twice as if I didn't know where he was in the rotation, but... I'm not really trying to waste more brews as I'm already wasting running around like a monkey. Come on, brother. Oof. It's dead. Okay. Forget that back end of that phase ever happened. That's still, I'm doing way better on brews than normal, so I have very little to complain about. We are now on phase three, third claw phase, which means I'll be fighting the melee hand first. I'll have to re-overload quickly, and um, the whole animation thing I was saying earlier, I'll I'll do magic while I re-overload for a second just to make it easier on myself. Oops, I went too quickly, didn't turn his head. One spec lands. Alright, so he just used a magic attack. Oh, and then he uses a spec now. So that means four attacks from now, or three attacks from now. Two. This next attack is a spec, which I just dodged. So four attacks from now is another. We're trying to make it when he looks at his melee hand is when he's using a spec which i believe is right now it's just really hard to tell when he when you do it right there i did it wrong actually he just used the spec to teleport when you do it right this is kind of the bullshit of learning it it it's i guess it's easy to tell because you don't ever take damage 
but to know the timing to like know what attack he's on it's kind of ironic that you have to skip attacks because then he you don't see what attack he uses so how are you supposed to know what attack he's on does that make any sense did i get that through while i was messing up this melee hand i want to go to mage for a second just to recoup hopefully oh go back go back i guess instead of reacting it worked i got lucky that i had enough time Yeesh. I don't think I explained that whole tricky part of learning four to one thing well, but I tried my best. And you could tell it was tough for me because that's when I started fucking up the hand too. <laughs> Beautiful. It's alright, man. If I get out of here with no deaths, I'm a happy dack. Still gonna be like a 45 minute raid. I can see a couple of the comments now. A lot of you are very nice about it, but uh. Somebody who's really good at raids will see, will just see the thumbnail, the name of the video, and the length, and will comment about how long the raid took me. Well, man, if they wanted to see perfect raids, I guess they could go watch yours instead. What are you talking about? Oh, I guess, instead of reacting, I'm going to take a hit. That's probably my biggest problem. So, like, right here, I have to wait and react. It turned all the way, so I go back. When I know that I have to wait and react, sometimes, like right here, I gotta wait and react. Just real simply. It didn't go all the way, so just run. It's that easy, but I'll constantly, just right before he turns his head, just like, this way! <laughs> and just kind of fuck myself up. Okay, I don't want to knock this out either, obviously. Uh, this is the phase where you can knock out both at the same time, basically. So, I want to see what health I get it to. I can do another attack. Oh, I may not make it. No, I'm good. Now, this will take a minute. So, I gotta let him attack twice here, because I don't know where we are. There's once. It's a regular attack. Let him do another. And it was nothing. That means Mario in 4 to 1. I shouldn't have stood still while I did that, because he could have used the flame wall on me. But, I was too focused on trying to explain what the hell was going on. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Are we getting some good hits? Oh, that's what I get for saying shit. So he'll attack me here, and here, ah, and I didn't get the prayer on, so what'd you get for being cocky? Told you, I'm trying to make myself look better than I am. Oh, he's healing. There we go. Means this is two, on four is he uses spec, so three, no, 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 on one. This'll be a uh, lightning, won't it? Yep. At least I know where I am. So he won't attack here. In fact, he turned his head, which is a dick move, but... This might not work. Damn it, dude. I was too late. I got the teleport. Shit's hitting the fan. I don't know what to tell you guys. It's all over. Thanks for tuning in. Now we're good. We're almost at head phase. I just don't know where he is in the rotation, so. When he gets to attack, oh, I could just do like zero to one. I let him attack twice. Oh, I'm an idiot, dude. This is what I was saying earlier. You can't fucking stand still if you don't bring a room pouch. I don't bring a room pouch. I stand still. Bad combination, trust me. It's dead. Staff on. It's the most important part. And, I mean, the occult would have been nice, too. Alright. Head phase. I have enough potions. Should be okay. I'm wearing void. Let's go for all that range gear. We're good. Alright. This requires similar timing to the shamans that I couldn't get right in this raid. I just fucked up by clicking too quickly. Whew. You're supposed to run right as he turns his head, though. I'm on it right now. We're good. Oh, not the burn. It's the first burn of the raid for me. You're killing me. This is now getting a little rougher because of the burn, but we should be good. I'm going to use a spec here. And nothing happened. What a surprise. That was perfect. I don't know how to explain how well that went, but oh, it went better than it could have. Could hit me. Okay. Barely got the sip in. There's so much going on with this part, it's really hard for me to try to explain exactly what I'm doing. But I'm running back and forth, trying to sip whatever potions I need. Tanking too many crystals. You know, the huge. I'm going to tank this one. You know, the huge. Okay. 
And he could KO me. He won't attack here, though. Which means that... Oh, I went out! That was so stupid. I tried to sip and run on the same tech, and it fucked with me. Not good enough. Let's get a tank. Oh, the 28, you cunt. Ooh, the poison did a one. I'm actually very lucky on that one. Out of rage. Just ask my stream viewers. Oh, I'm out of prayer, too. Ooh, we're cutting it close, ain't we? This is what you get for never sipping the fucking enhance. Why didn't you guys remind me? Oh, wait. Can't. Ooh, yikes. This might come down to shitty strats, but we'll see. Yeah, we gotta do some running for a sec. Oh, I'm also not overloaded anymore. I see. So here's the issue. I'm trying to think this through. If I overload, I'll at least get some sort of restore back so that I have decent stats to attack it. That's problem number one. We're good now. Problem number two, 30 health, running low on prayer, just wasting it running around too. So, we're relying on stamina potions and pretending I have a Tebow, but doing this with a blowpipe. Completely t <laughs> safe in it. Kinda though, it's the crystals that make me nervous right now. I probably, I kinda wanna turn on. Here, I'm gonna do this. I kinda wanna use, is it redemption? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you redeem yourself if you die. The name makes sense. Damn it. Sip. Woo! Come on, give me a good spec. Good hit. I should have put fucking prayer on first. This might hit me. Damn, dude. You kidding? Oh, that's gonna hit me too. Don't kill me. Risked it. I gotta fucking tank twice. This will be a third hit now. Yeesh. Ooh, 16%. I'm doing better than I would have expected two minutes ago. Now it's taking forever, though. I really like that the first video in this series will be a sketchy-ass ohm. Well, I like it a lot because I get the kill without dying. Who knows? I'm going to get a hit here. All right, I'm almost out of stam. That means I got to do more damage. Killing me, dude. Killing me. Come on. Come on, we're so close. Very close. I think I got it. Oh, I think I got it. Nope. Now we're risking it again. No, not the drip. Such an ass, Ohm. You are the ass. Not America's ass. Just the ass. Oh my god. One health? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Oh, that means I can't take... The poison damage is about to kill me. Yikes! Ah, well, guys, this is what you get for watching this far into the video. You asked for a raid that wasn't perfect. You got a raid that most definitely wasn't perfect. That's sad. I almost pulled it out. I don't know what to say other than some other pull-out joke, I guess. Go ahead and leave the dislike, and I'll see you next time, guys. What are you going to do about it? Let's finish the kill. What the fuck just happened as I entered the room? Oh, he used burn with me. I didn't even see it. That's so sad. Now I might get killed twice. I just gotta get a hit. Give me a hit. Give me a hit. You're killing me. Jesus. Alright, 70 KC in the Hardcore Iron Man. That was one full raid. Um, hopefully the worst of the four or five that I'll do on this mini-series here. Um, if you're a fan of the Hardcore Iron Man series and you don't want a spoiler about if I got a purple light, you probably should leave now. But we can go through hopefully the best part, the purple light. That was sad. There's a little scuffed that I messed up at the end, but 20k points. You never know. Let's see. Let's see what color the light is. Fellas, you all knew. I say you never know, but you all knew. It's a white light. What kind of loot? I'm I'm not upset. Those are Ronars. Yeah, I'm not upset. Could have been worse. I'm a little upset that I died as as close as it was. Not that I died in general, but um, 
I hope you all got some useful information about some beginner to mid-level raids from this one. If you still have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. I do stream a lot of Twitch content. Lately, it has not been raids, but I'll be getting back to raids in the long run. So it could depend when you watch the video, I guess. But you can follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, or join the Discord. All links are in the description. Uh, thanks again for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed or got some useful information. And best of luck with your raids.